Okay, okay. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, all those watching us on social media. Uh, we are here at Usaka Service Headquarters, at Force Headquarters, as it is called. We are here for the case of Honorable Shaka Fuswa Christopher. Uh, this morning, you are aware that uh, Honorable Shaka Fuswa was picked up yesterday from a shopping mall when he was with members of his family. He was taken, bundled in a vehicle, and he was taken to Lusaka Central Police, where he remained detained until this morning. This morning, they transferred him from um, uh, Lusaka Central Police to service headquarters here, where they have since warned him they issued a one and caution statement and there's an eventual arrest that uh, they may conduct. They, they allege that he proposed violence on 3rd May 2023 when the police conducted a raid at the residence of the former president, Zambia 6th president, Dr. Edgar Chagwa Lungu. So we are here with Honorable Chimbakambuli and the other leaders. We have seen Honorable Christopher Shakafuswa. He's doing well. He's in uh, good spirit. Uh, you will shortly be transferred to uh, Kabwata Police Station, I think where uh, the other formalities will be done. Our prayer is that he gets police bond as soon as possible. And um, coming to the politics, we've been very consistent that this is a crack squad. This is an attack on the opposition that you can see that they are coordinated efforts to scandalize the opposition, arrest them, intimidate them, you know, lock them up so that maybe they'll be cowed into silence, into, uh, 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 into fear. And our advice has been to President Naga in the HLM, that we are not a police state. We are a constitutional democracy and law enforcement agencies should not be used or abused to target especially the opposition and those critics of uh, uh, the current government. Our role is just to provide checks and balances. You may not like how we provide checks and balances, but that is our role. And these attacks and arrests and intimidation against the uh, opposition, we will, we, we will not cow us down. It's eroding our democratic credentials. It is uh, destroying our, our cherished democracy and the dissent into like a police state authoritarianism is totally unacceptable. Let me invite Honorable Chimbakambuli. Just First to, and foremost, yeah, just to this matter. I, I, I want to thank all of you who have come to give solidarity to our brother, Honorable Shakafuso. And I want to state this, that there's absolutely nothing wrong in interviewing or interrogating somebody if there is an alleged commitment of an offence. I want to underline this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with in interrogating or investigating anybody, whether you are MP, you are president, as long as there is an allegation of an offence. But what is important is the way it is done. Honorable Shaka Fuswa is a member of parliament, of fixed accord. He's got a parliamentary office where even police uh, uh, provide the security. Why go and arrest him like a common criminal at a shopping mall when he's doing his shopping with his uh, family? I think these are issues that must be resolved once and for all. We are not going to continue living in Stone Age and be referred to as African dirty politics. You know? The man, if they were looking for him from 3rd May, why not take a call out to his house, to his office, or indeed uh, ask the speaker that we are looking for, for one of your members of parliament, could you ask him to report himself to the police station so that investigations can be carried out? You wait until there is a public holiday, you go and arrest somebody like a common criminal, you bring him to the police and say, no, we cannot deal with this matter because today is a holiday, so he has to spend the night in the police cells. What a way of thinking. What a way of thinking. Those cells are made for criminals who do not have the fixed abode and the flight risk. But surely, somebody goes to parliament every day. You go and arrest him in that manner. Please, my police, bless and be the opportunity. And 
I want to appeal to these uh, ordinary police officers, the junior ranks. The way you conduct yourselves, have you seen that every time there's a change of government, those who are in the forefront of doing these things are fired? And the people who send you to do these things are quiet in their homes. You are career police officers who need to keep your jobs for at least up to pensionable age. But are you going to accept to be fired, to, 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 to get fired every time there's a change of government? So don't follow political instructions. Do your job professionally. If you are told, go with a battalion of police officers at Honorable Cambodia and pick him, bring him to the police, tell them, sir, why can't we just give him a call out? If he doesn't come, if he doesn't cooperate, then we can do that. The man was never invited. He was never even told that police were looking for him. You just meet him at a, at a shopping mall, you arrest him. And this is now misusing the uh, cyber security law, where you can... Uh, place surveillance on the perceived political enemies so that you know where they are and you plan to arrest them in an embarrassing situation. I hope and trust that as it being transferred to Kawata police, police bond will be given because police bond is a right under the law unless somebody is a flight risk and he has, is of no fixed abode. The president has been saying, and the problem we have with our president he speaks so well and so good, creating an impression that he's a very good man. But behind him, there is a monster behind him. Because really, why not tell the police, we promised our people that this kind of arrest and all that should not be done. Why are you police doing this? But the, the mere fact that he's quiet, it means he's a man behind all these arrests. But I can tell you something for nothing. Leadership comes from God. And when your time comes, your time will come. When your time to go comes, your no matter what you do, you can intimidate people, arrest people, do this, destroy your friends' businesses. One day, just one day, you'll be out of state house. How would you want to be treated? Mwimbu boy, mwimbu jack. Toilet stuck on them na imum parliament. At if you have puba, more especially in the MP, Mira Ikata Ikatawa MP. Look at Namibia, for instance. Before an MP is arrested, the speaker has to know. The speaker has to inform the president. Then the president authorizes. They go and pick them nicely, interview them nicely, charge them nicely. If they have an offense, take them to court. But brutalizing MPs. The president is a member of parliament. But why treat your fellow members of parliament like that? You are only lowering the dignity of members of parliament. facilities. There is no cooking there. Even these people, you arrest ordinary people. If they have got a fixed board, why put them behind bars? Why? And this uh, propensity of arresting somebody from Chawa Mokwekala, Mwayamuchita, Mamutwala Ku, Bamora, Mwayabika Monen Soka. Can you stop it? Can you stop it? It's not building anybody. Mwai seven ya fear. And I'm telling you, this pomposity we are seeing, where even a Catholic priest, you call Catholic priest that you are not educated, we can take you to school. Do you know what Catholic priests go through to be a priest? And the Franciscan. Seven That's years a Franciscan. Seven to ten years. Catholic priests are even more educated than the, 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 the president. So you want to demean them by saying, if you don't know numbers, we can take you to school. There's free education. Allah, pomposity, ego, and the becoming arrogant is the fall of leaders. And the president must not be answering to anything and everything. We are not the only mayor. A mayor, mayor. Elected. And she was only politicking on a political platform. Is that what the president can comment on? How Mwandi to Ariama Kota. To a Pokwama Kota. To Ariach Kandaya Kocha. Ala to let no man have a cleaner, and all under the cleaner for government office, for president, the upper platform. I'm sending warning to that cleaner. This is what you are equating yourself to, President Hakainde Ichilema. Stop it! Stop it, my brother. It's not everything that you can talk about. You know, Catholic priests are very educated people. 
to tell you the truth. If you don't have a Catholic, I can explain what it takes to be a Catholic. So to go and demean them that they don't understand numbers. Stop insulting other people. Stop this this uh, arrogancy. Eh? No, uh, how to answer people. There are people who are not educated in this country. Not because they like it, but because there were no schools during their time. So don't demean them like that. You are head of state. Have some kind of catches when you are addressing the people. You, the same President Haga in the when PF paraded people to hand over the, the, the fire engines, you condemned it that this is a waste of money. It is a responsibility of government to buy fire engines and vehicles. Why call people in a stadium to hand, hand, the, hand over the fire engines? That's what you said. You are doing the same thing. The same thing that you condemned. You want PF MPs to come and attend your functions. You refused your MPs to attend functions. A very good example is our uh, uh, Tom, who was mayor in uh, Kafue. He attended Deep Zambia Clean with President uh, Edgar Lungu, and you suspended the man. So do unto others what you want others to do unto you. If you want to say if you say fee, if you want to fee, if you want to say if you have a position, a ruling party, let's all get united as a government. Because the opposition is a government in waiting. The opposition MPs are part of government. So if you have a position, because you have a position, 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 you you want the other MPs to attend. But to be fair, to somebody le pochimo mule ikata aba nenu if you wale mu ikata na imwa ke sa mu ikata kwena instead mule but this should come to an end because i don't want to come and go through this but you are saying i will do it so that i can also come and go through it however ne tutemwane and stop this is not building anybody so we are moving to kabwata to wait we'll be at the police station until the formalities are done and our brother is released on police bond. And to you, police officers, new IG. Wait, 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 new IG, stop it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Honorable uh, Shakapusha is expected to be moved to Kawata Police Station, where uh, we will follow up on the matter and we'll give you an update later. Thank you very much.